Ugh. Hey there, Steve here for another edition of That Geek Guy. Today, I'll be demonstrating how to restore your vintage computer case back to near new condition by reversing the yellowing process that affects many of these great machines. Stick around and I'll show you how it's done. Several years ago, I purchased a handful of old computers off of eBay. Commodore 64s, VIC-20s, 128s, and this Apple IIe here. And then I lovingly restored them with the knowledge that I had at the time. I used everything from simple green to rubbing alcohol to soap and water. But the one thing I couldn't fix was the yellowing that affected most of the cases. Just recently, I discovered a new technique of how to use hydrogen peroxide to get this clean. Now this isn't my original idea, I learned it from another YouTuber called the 8-Bit Guy. Now what he suggested was a product that you can find at Sally Beauty Supply called Salon Care number 40. Unlike regular hydrogen peroxide, this is a much higher percentage of the chemical and it comes in a cream form so that you can paste it all over the surface so that it'll stick and then you expose it to ultraviolet light. Today I'm going to demonstrate how to do that. Now this light doesn't do it justice. But to the naked eye right now, this case is definitely yellow. But what I can show you is if you pan up here to the monitor, you can sell, see where somebody had placed a sticker a long time ago. Now when I purchased this machine a couple years ago, I pulled that sticker off and was fascinated to see that it had preserved the original color. So our goal today is to try to restore this old Apple II to its original glory using hydrogen peroxide. And I'll show you how that's done. Anytime you're trying out a new technique, try a practice run on an inconspicuous area. For the purpose of this demonstration, I'm going to use the lid on this Apple II. After coating the lid with the peroxide solution, I carefully wrapped it in plastic wrap to prevent it from evaporating. I then set the lid out in the sun for about six hours. Once complete, I brought it in for a good washing. At this point, you can clearly see a noticeable difference in color. Now, we're ready to move on with the rest of the case. You'll want to give the keys the same treatment, so begin by disassembling the keyboard, followed by any accessory cards. Finally, detach the outer shell by removing only the outermost screws from the bottom. With the case removed, I took it outside for a good spot cleaning with rubbing alcohol. I then did the same with the individual keys. Next, I dipped each key into the peroxide solution and place them into a sealable bag. I then coated the space bar using a cotton swab and placed it into the bag as well. Finally, I laid the bag out in the sun for about six hours, making sure each key was facing up for proper exposure. Back inside, I prepared the case for treatment by first protecting my working surface again. This time, I also laid out a few sheets of the plastic wrap beforehand so I wouldn't have to struggle with it once the case was coated. Notice that I'm wearing protective gloves. Remember, we're using virtually the same thing that you've probably used to treat a cut before, only in a much higher concentration. If you're going to be in direct contact with this stuff, don't be lazy like me. Just be sure to play it safe when doing this at home. And don't worry, this went away after a few hours. After the case was completely coated and wrapped, I took it outside to soak up some sunshine in order for the peroxide to react with the UV rays. Remember, the sun is continually changing position throughout the day, 
so be sure to make periodic adjustments for this to ensure the case receives the maximum amount of light. We're now ready to bear witness to amazing transformation. Can I get a drum roll please? And there you have it. As you can see, the peroxide has a bleaching effect that counters the yellowing in the plastic caused by the fire retardants. Now the ironic thing is that the cause of the problem, ultraviolet light, is also the solution. My original intent was to complete the monitor at the same time as I did the computer. Unfortunately, it's been rainy and cloudy all week and I was unable to. Uh, with that in mind, the reason why it only took me five hours to do the case compared to six hours when I did the lid is because when I did the case, it was a bright sunshiny day, but it was overcast either the day I did the lid. Keep that in mind when you're working on your own project and be sure to take that in account depending on how much sunshine you have for that particular day. Also, if you're doing this during the winter and it's just not going to happen, you can also get an electronic ultraviolet lamp. It'll do the same trick and in probably more precise hours. If you'll remember, I placed the space bar in the same bag with the other keys. Unfortunately, this resulted in an uneven exposure. For your own project, I'd recommend placing it in its own individual bag. Also, please note that the space bar is actually a different color than the keys. The keys are definitely a gray color, but the space bar is a kind of beige. For this particular project, I actually sanded down the uneven exposure so I can get down to the original plastic, and then I gave it a cleanup with some plastic polish with the resulting color that you see here. Finally, while you have the computer completely disassembled, you'll probably notice a significant buildup of dust. So take advantage of this time to give it a thorough cleaning. That way when you're done, you'll have a machine that's been restored to like new condition. Well that about does it for this edition of That Geek Guy. Thank you for joining us. If you have any questions or comments or have ideas for future videos that you'd like to see, be sure to mention them in the comments below. Also, make sure you subscribe so you can catch other great videos just like this one. Until next time, thanks for watching. This just in. Literally. Right when I was wrapping up production, my daughter brought it to me. Perhaps I'll use it for the subject of the next video. Come back later and find out.